now it's recording. Hello, hello, how are you today? Okay, so this is Scotty from Coca's Island. We're doing a quick little hydroponic uh, test. First of all, I'm testing the pH in my water and uh, I gotta add five drops. One, two, three, four, five. I'm using reverse osmosis water. What we're shooting for is a pH of between 6.4 and 6.7 before we get started on all this. Uh, and uh, we're looking pretty good here. A little bit high. I might have to get pH lower. Uh, I'm at about, right now, measuring a little high. I measured a little bit lower the other day, but I'm almost uh, 7.2 pH right now uh, on my water, so I'm going to have to drop that. So the next step is what I'm doing is I'm mixing some nutrients for my hydroponic system. So I need uh, 12 grams of Master Blend. This is the Master Blend recommended by the H. Gardener on YouTube. So I, I've got a little digital scale and I need 12 grams. I don't know if the camera's going to pick this up. 12 grams of this master blend, which I'm mixing up. Hopefully. Okay, we're at 7, 9, 9 grams. 12 grams is more than I thought, and 12 grams right there, 12 grams of Master Blend is recommended, and then again another 12 grams of Calcium Nitrate, this is available online, um, and we're at 8, 9, 10, 11, okay, just a tiny bit more of the calcium nitrate, 12.2, that's good, and then Epsom salt, which is recommended at 6 grams, so that's half as much, so we'll start here, put that on there, that's 3, okay, here we go, 5, 5.3, a little bit more, 6 grams, I got 6.4, that's close enough. Okay, so that's our, that's our mix right there. It's 12 grams of Master Blend, 12 grams of Calcium Nitrate, and 6 grams of salt. I'm going to add this to my water mixture right here. I've got almost a gallon of water. I'm going to just go ahead and Try and carefully not make a mess. Pour that in there. This is this is a tomato mix. So this is a master blend. You could buy it online. You want a nitrogen content of 18, phosphorus content of 18, and a potassium, which is uh, 21, for a perfect tomato blend. And it comes out looking like this. Now this is a concentrate mix. I want my pH to be 6.4, between 6.4 and 6.7. I'm just a little bit high. You could see that my pH is about, well, 6.8 to 7. So I'll have to drop my water pH. Okay, so we're going to move on from here and show you the rest of uh, this, this project we're doing.